these are the three models in time series analysis the first model is additive model the second one is multiplicative model and the third one is a mixed model so we will discuss uh, one by one all these models. so what is additive model so additive model is this so this model <coughs> is the additive model so that means all these four components of time series we are adding them so this t stands for the trend s stands for seasonal variation c stands for the cyclical variation and i stands for the irregular variation so what is this y so y means this is estimated value of uh, by using this model so all these are absolute quantities so these values are absolute quantities which can take positive and negative value so that the summation s equal to 0 for any year summation c equal to 0 for any cycle and summation i equal to 0 in the long term way. and uh, in uh, additive model we are assuming that all these four components of the time series operate independent so they are contributing uh, they are contributing independently in the model in this model all these trend cyclical seasonal and irregular variations are contributing independent however this assumption is not true in most of the economic and uh, business activity so this is nothing but uh, the additive model. and uh, the another model is multiplicative model and in multiplicative model so what is that model so see this is the multiplicative model so in multiplicative model we are taking multiplication of all these uh, all these values of the components of time series so yt equal to tt multiplied by st multiplied by ct multiplied by it so this is a multiplicative model and in multiplicative model so we can view uh, that means this s c and i are not viewed as absolute amounts but rather the relative variation relative why this is uh, taken as relative variations because they, they are not necessarily independent and they can affect each other that means there is a mutual contribution of trend as seasonal variation seasonal variation and cyclical variation into this model so they are not uh, necessarily independent they are dependent to each other and most of the time series relating to economic and business phenomena confirm to this multiplicative model which we can call this as a mixed model and in mixed model we are taking combination of additive and multiplicative model see in this case we are multiplying this trend value by seasonal variation that means this is a actually multiplicative model and we are adding this plus ct plus it this is nothing but a additive model so this is the combination of both multiplicative uh, how to calculate the values of uh, measurement so there are four ways of uh, four ways of uh, measuring this trend the first way is histogram the second one is uh, uh, moving average method so it is also known as ma method the third one is uh, method of progressive averages that is pa method and the last one is method of least square this is known as a ls method so all these method by using all these method we can measure the value of trend how to measure uh, the value of trend by using all this so this method is a graphical method i will show you uh, the graph and uh, just by visualizing this graph you can make some sort of idea about uh, how this value is uh, seen in the table so i have <coughs> plotted this by using excel so these are the given so motor vehicle sales volume data is given in million units and these are the years these are the years uh, from 2005 to 2020 and these are the sales can uh, the year on x axis and sales on y axis and i have plotted this by using excel so in excel uh, excel there is a data tab once you click on the data tab so uh, a new tab uh, opens so that is data analysis and uh, by using that data analysis you can plot uh, this uh, moving app. so that is one method so this is the time series plot for vehicle sales and i have plot if you see this i will be getting one uh, i have plotted this by using year versus sales this first value is uh, gives us uh, the value of the year 2005 with sales volume 1.44 so this is the second one this is the third one this is the fourth one so all these are plotted so there are in all uh, i think 2 plus 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 values so you can see that uh, these dots are 16 and all these dots are connected with a straight line 
so that will gives us a, this line is nothing but a actual line and this line if you see this line so this is nothing but a trained line and uh, there are various uh, trained lines so we can plot a straight line also we can plot a exponential also we can plot by using the polynomial in this case i have taken polynomial graph because uh, the value of r square in this case is 0 0.8500 so r square is nothing but coefficient of determination you have to check plot value the value of r square is more so the value of r square <coughs> is more means uh, method is uh, properly fitting the graph and in this case uh, in this case this method so polynomial method and uh, i have taken this polynomial method for plotting this graph and uh, uh, actually i have plotted all the values by using uh, straight line method by using exponential uh, by using uh, polynomials the value of r square is more for this polynomial so uh, the polynomial uh, method which fits for this data so this is one way of uh, plotting uh, this this is called as a history graph the another method is uh, moving average a average method average is nothing but mean we have to calculate the mean of all the values why this is called as moving average because uh, for different uh, time periods we are calculating average so that means and these are the two methods of moving averages uh, calculation when uh, the period is odd and when the period is even so we will see how to calculate the value value of moving averages mm uh, moving averages and this moving average method is very important uh, uh, in time series analysis so how to plot this so i will be taking the same example whatever example we have seen previously uh, this is nothing but uh, when the period is odd that means we are giving uh, the period as 3 year or 5 year so what we are given so there are 16 time periods if, and for this 16 time periods we are we are given the years so which uh, starts from uh, this value 2005 to 2020 and these are the sales values and i have calculated uh, this example by using three yearly moving average. if you see so this this is uh, the red line shows this is nothing but a actual uh, line so this is actual line means there are 16 points and uh, for this 16 points i have plotted this. and uh, this green line which shows as the trend line which is more smooth and uh, we can uh, again see and uh, if you see that uh, we cannot get the value for the first year and for the last year for three yearly moving average for five yearly moving average the first two year values and the last two year values we are not getting because how we can plotted uh, this uh, uh, three yearly moving average first we have to calculate three yearly moving total for these three year so take the addition of these three values so that means 1.44 plus 1.75 plus 1.99 so add these values and first calculate three yearly moving total and what is three yearly moving average means what three these three values should be divided by three so that will give us the first value this value 1.78 how we can calculate the second this value so for this value leave the first value and then go for taking these three values and uh, calculate uh, the total and divide it by th three so that means 1.75 plus 1.90 one and this is nothing but one ply 1.38 like this so these three values we have to add and divide it by three so that will gives us this value for next value so again we are taking these three values and uh, add these three values and divide it by three so that means uh, we are removing this value we are removing this value and then we are taking this for next remove this and takes these three values so that means this is moving and plot this graph so i have plotted this by using excel same line we can calculate uh, the values for uh, when the moving uh, moving average when the period is so even means what so we have to calculate the values by using four yearly six yearly eight yearly likewise odd means three yearly five yearly so this is not only the yearly we can uh, we can also calculate if the data is monthly we can calculate monthly moving averages also or weekly moving average what we have to do that in odd yearly we have to uh, add those values suppose uh, these are three weekly then uh, take uh, the addition of three weeks and uh, divide it by three and write down uh, in the central week 
that is nothing but uh, recurring but there is a slight different procedure in in case of even yearly what we have to do in this case the same example i have taken uh, and uh, we are given all these 16 values so starts from 2005 to 2020 so these are the sales values are given now i have to first calculate four yearly moving total see the period in this case is even so we have to add the four values so the first four values so take these first four values add these values and once we add these values we have to write down the value in between these two years that means uh, the sales values are taken for the year 2005 2006 2007 and 2008 so add the sales values and write down in between 2006 and 2007 right then so the first value should should not be taken for calculating the next value so leave this value and take the next four values the next four values these are the next four values and again add this divide it by four and write down in the next uh, in between the values that means in this case i have taken 2006 7 8 and 9 so the addition of sales is taken so add all the sales divide it by four and write down the value in between 2007 and 2008 likewise uh, uh, extend the procedure for all the values so leave this value go again the next values means that will give us these values so these are nothing but the moving average value these moving averages are not representing a particular year therefore we have to prepare one more column of four yearly moving centered and in moving centered we have to take two yearly addition of uh, these uh, four year moving averages that means we have to add these two values first uh, these two values and divide it by that will gives us four yearly moving centered how to calculate four yearly moving centered so i have uh, calculated four yearly moving averages so take the first two four yearly moving averages add these two divide by two so that will gives us this value and now we have to write down this value in between these two values so that means uh, that will correctly represent the year 2007 so that is the purpose of calculating uh, moving centered values so the next value is so leave the first value so that means add these two values divide it by two and uh, write down in the central part of the data so that will gives us this value which is uh, now representing 2008 so remove the second value so that means uh, don't take the second value and move towards the further move towards the two values add these two values divide it by two and write down in the central uh, in the center so that will uh, representing the value 2000 likewise you have to plot uh, you have to calculate all these values and uh, in four yearly moving average values we are not getting these first two values and the last two values are not getting otherwise we are getting all all those this is the graph of actual actual value these plots are showing these are the actual values so this graph is actual values and uh, this graph is nothing but this is uh, the graph of trend values the trend values are uh, only for 12 points values uh, for the first and last two years are not uh, getting therefore uh, the trend value shows only 12 values whereas uh, this actual uh, graph shows all the 16 so likewise uh, we can uh, we can calculate uh, the, this four yearly moving average. so the only difference is uh, we have to prepare one more column in uh, when the period is even so that means four yearly moving centered but uh, that is uh, not the case of three yearly or you yearly moving average this moving average method is very powerful tool in a time series and because uh, in most of the cases in most of the business activities and uh, normally in stock markets we are calculating 100 uh, days or uh, 100 time period moving averages 200 dma 50 dma and uh, the data smoothens by using uh, moving averages and for the sake of predicting uh, what would be the price of uh, this uh, underlying stock in the next few days we will uh, stop here today till then 